This video is going to talk about Microsoft OneNote. OneNote is a program for gathering information and collaborating with others. It has the ability to synchronize notes, whether handwritten or typed, drawings, images, video, and audio files, and team up with other users of OneNote over the Internet. There are various benefits of using OneNote. Unlike a word processor, users can simply write anywhere on a virtually unbounded document window by just clicking there. Users do not need to explicitly save the document as it saves the data automatically as you enter the data in it. Images can be searched for embedded text as well. Electronic ink annotations can also be searched as text. In fact, even audio recordings can also be searched and it can be replayed alongside with the notes taken during the recording. OneNote's multi-user capability allows offline editing which can later be synchronized and merged at the paragraph level. This is a great tool for work groups that want to collaborate on research. Information in OneNote is saved in pages which are then organized into various sections within the notebooks. OneNote's interface is an electronic version of the familiar tabbed ring binder which can be used directly for making notes. It also gathers materials obtained from other applications as mentioned. Pages can be arbitrarily large. Bitmap images can be pasted without quality loss. Pages can be moved inside the binder and annotated with a stylus or word processing or drawing tools. And as users, we may add embedded multimedia recordings and web links. OneNote has the ability to organize not just huge volume of data, but also a variety of data. It is an enabling tool, especially for students. In the past, we used to have many notebooks for a particular subject. Let's say if I've borrowed a notebook from a sophomore student and I would like to find a particular formula, it could be a painful exercise trying to find it in hard copy. However, if you have those notes in OneNote, you can easily use the search function to find that out and it could be done in milliseconds. It gives students the ability to not only record words spoken in their classes and seminars, but also mathematical formulas, calculations, experiment data and diagrams from their labs and discussions. And it helps them organize all of that in very structured format so that it can be shared easily and efficiently and they can be faster at studying them and especially if they would like to find something important in their notes, they can do it in a matter of seconds. OneNote users can take handwritten or typed notes, sketch diagrams, capture web page content, and record audio and video notes in one place. Not only that, they also enjoy the flexibility of organizing or sharing the information they have gathered in whichever manner they like. Moreover, OneNote can be used with other Office programs such as Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, Excel, so that research papers and other formal documents can be created easily. So now let's scan through various features that exist in this software. So this is a OneNote window. Each of these are notebooks in OneNote. These are various pages in the OneNote notebook and these are the sections of OneNote. Just like in Binder you have various sections which help you organize your folder. These dividers help you organize your notebook which is this and these are the various pages in one notebook. You can virtually click anywhere and start typing so for example I can just go at the bottom of the page click randomly here and I can just start typing. If I would like to create a table then I can just start typing and then press tab to go to the next column then press tab again to go to the second column and press enter and look how easily a table has been created. So this is one of the famous and very useful features of OneNote.
So this is the home tab wherein you have the ability to paint, format painter, change your font size, color, highlight text, so on and so forth. All of these features are very similar to Microsoft Word. An important feature here is tags. Look at this. You have various types of tags here. To-do list tag, highlighters, definitions, phone number tag, criticality tag, project A, project B tags. You can in fact even customize these tags to suit your needs. So let's say you have created a bunch of to-do list and you want to add another one. You can simply do that and create another tag here. And if you're done with that, just simply click OK, it's done. So this is how you can easily create tags. If something is important, you can mark it as important by simply clicking on this. So it becomes important. So at your own time and pace, figure out these features. You can also customize these tags by going here. Modify or create a new tag. You can modify it. Use different shapes and sizes, colors, fonts, so on and so forth. You can also find tags in your file in the notebook. Now let's say if you would like to email a certain page, you can do that in a matter of seconds by going to this Outlook section and there's something called Email Page. If you click on that, it will go ahead and email this entire page and you can just simply type in the name of the user and click send and it will simply go. Now let's go to the next tab which is insert. In this tab you have the ability to record your audio. You ha also have the ability to record video. So for example in a class where you would like to take notes or for example you're sitting in an important meeting and you really need to remember all the details of the meeting then you can simply click on record audio and it'll record the entire meeting so once you come back you can always listen to it and understand the context better you can also record video you can insert date time symbol equations you can also attach files so simply click on this attach file under file section and just click on it and it'll simply attach and you can put it anywhere in the page you like like I have dragged it here so you can also insert links in your document by simply clicking on the link icon here and it could be displayed with any name on it so let's say www.google.com so if you type in so if I click on this it'll go to google.com. Now let's say I would like to link some section of my file. I can do that as well by clicking on the link icon and then I can simply click on certain section which are available in all the notebooks that are there. And I can click OK then and it'll go to that section once I click here. So it's just that simple. You can also insert pictures, screen clipping, tables, space. So this is your insert tab. You can as well insert pages by simply clicking here. You can insert new page, new sub page to this. You can also insert templates by simply clicking on this drop down and clicking the last option which is page templates once you do that various options are available under that academic simple lecture notes math and science class notes history so anything you click and it'll give you a format for that these are predefined formats if you would like to play around with business templates you can look at certain more detailed meeting notes or informal meeting notes, simple meeting notes, so on and so forth. You can also get access to prioritized to-do lists. 
you would like to quickly find a template for that it's just in, you can click here and sort that out so now let's go to the share tab in this I, as I've already told you you have the ability to email various sections various pages of your notebook you can also share this notebook with other notebook users you can also identify the edits that have occurred this feature is especially important when you're sharing one notebook with various users and you would like to know what were the edits that happened in let's say last 14 days or just yesterday so all of that is possible you also have the ability to hide authors so if you click on that it'll just simply hide the authors you can also delete various versions of the section of the pages or you can delete just various versions of the entire notebook you can send your notebook to the recycle bin i.e. to simply delete it then we go to the draw tab this tab is very useful as mentioned earlier you can handwrite in your notebook so if I click on one of these icons let's say I click on the red one and I can simply type anything I want I can write I can draw if I want a thicker highlighter I can use that I can play around with various colors this is especially useful if you would like to quickly write down something next to your pre-existing notes you can definitely do that so you let's say you already have certain notes and you would like to highlight something you can quickly do that and just mark an asterisk around it you can also insert various kinds of shapes change the color and thickness of that you can arrange objects send to back, bring to forward, so on and so forth. This software also has the ability to review spellings. It also has the ability to give users the access to thesaurus and various other research features. One of the very important features of OneNote is its ability to quickly grab important items deemed by the user on the net and quickly organize them in your one note so for example if I click on new docked window let's say I would like to copy this particular feature so I click on copy and I would like to just simply take note of it and I can simply paste it here so now that I've come back to normal view I can quickly show you that it has automatically pasted the link to this file I can also paste pictures from the net quickly from here so this is a very useful feature of OneNote all you need to do is click on new docked window and open the internet window next to it and keep on taking notes copying and pasting and it will quickly do that for that matter, if you are, for example, listening to a lecture in another class and you would like to take notes, you can have Excel open on one side where you're playing around with your balance sheet income statement if it is a finance class. And at the same time, you're taking notes in OneNote. So all of that is possible in OneNote, which can be easily done by using this new docked window. you can also resize your page it could be of any size you can make it very large or you can change it to A4 you can change it to portrait or landscape change the margin so on so forth you can zoom in zoom out let's say you have created certain raw notes and you've not filed them yet because you need to still organize them so that can come under unfile notes and if you click on this icon here 
this will simply give you your unfile notes and then you can simply drag and drop those notes to other parts of your section so this is a very easy way of organizing your notes so this is what OneNote is all about you need to play around with various features to really understand them but they are very easy to use and user friendly features and they can really help you in note taking and they can help you become more organized, structured and efficient at your workplace or even at your school. Hope this was useful. This video was brought to you by CXO Learning Academy, a premier learning initiative by CXO Math. For any queries, you can email us at learning at cxomath.com. Thank you.